everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Did you see the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, last night? If not, well, don't worry. There's still a chance that you'll be able to see it again tonight. That's today, November 12, 2025. Thanks to the ongoing geomagnetic storm activity. From recent coronal mass ejections, CMEs, from the sun, a G4 severe geomagnetic storm watch is in effect, which could push the aurora as far south as northern New England and the Great Lake, the upper Midwest and Pacific Northwest, and even parts of the south like Alabama and northern California. Last night's display reached Florida and even Texas. Here in South Dakota, I got up a little late. But I did get up early enough to see a very faint green hue. Um, below that was a little red. It was tremendous. So if you want to watch it again or watch for it again tonight, the best viewing time is around 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. local time when the solar wind activity is strongest. The effects could start as early as evening and linger into the early hours of November 13th. An additional CME is forecast to arrive midday today, potentially intensifying the roar by evening. I'm going to bundle up and go out tonight. Um, I'm a little picky on what I view. Many years ago, probably 20 years ago, uh, when my kids were quite young and they had newspaper routes, we were out at about 4 a.m. one year and saw the auroras that looked like something they would see up there at the uh, North Pole. Yeah, shimmering sheets, waving sheets of color. It was amazing. But it was before they had cell phones, so I couldn't record it. And ever since then, um, I've always been a little disappointed in seeing the auroras. When you see something like they see up there at the North Pole, nothing can compare. But if it happened, you know, 20 years ago, it very well could happen again sometime in the future. So if you want to go out tonight, Go to some place that's dark, low light pollution, away from cities. Clear northern skies are ideal and check local weather for cloud cover. No specific equipment is needed. The naked eye works just fine, but cameras can capture colors better in long exposures. Visibility depends on your latitude. Stronger, guaranteed to be seen in Alaska, Canada, Scandinavia. Moderate in the northern U.S. and fainter farther south. If you're in a southern location and missed it last night, this could be your best shot yet. So get out there. Here's the latest message from the NOAA Prediction Center. It said the uh, CME is passing right over the heart of Earth right now, or the heart of the CME is directly going over Earth. And it's going to continue to do so through the overnight hours. I had reported how we had a Class X 5.1 flare off the sun that was Earth-directed, and that is supposed to hit the Earth sometime late tonight. So I think it will probably be more brilliant. We'll just have to wait and see. I hope so. This one, when it impacts us, will probably have a G4, maybe even a G5 radio blackout. And it's going to affect GPS satellites, etc., weather, people's health. So I'm going to bundle up. I'm going to go out. Yeah, I don't want to miss another opportunity to see if there's going to be curtains of colors. Yeah, you just don't know. Thank you for watching. If you got to see it, please put your comments down below. Thank you again. Please stay safe. Always be prepared, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.